We have 100% less martinis in this series. It is not a lot of smoking, no handguns like those like they did back in the 60s. My name's Rasmus Hardika. And I play Scott Tracy. And Alan Tracy. And who are they? They are the Thunderbirds. They are two of the five brothers who um, have cool ships and save the world. Looks like you could use a little help. Look off to him. I've got him. I play Virgil and Gordon, so I can show you. I play those two guys there. So I play the guy who flies Thunderbird 2, and he's the heavy lifter. And I also uh, play Gordon, who um, he uh, pilots Thunderbird 4, which is the submarine. Thunderbird 5, have a look at my sensors, will ya? They're picking something up, and so is my famous Gordon Tracy squid sense. They uh, pretty much bicker and fight all the time, and uh, it's great, so I get to have arguments with myself. Every show needs a villain. Who's your villain? Our villain, our predominant villain is called The Hood, played by the magnificent Andres Williams. Um, but within that, there are other baddies and negative forces, um, but he's the constant uh, throughout, So, and he's an exciting villain. Well, I would say a sophisticated, uh, you know, a villain who knows what he wants, um, and he knows how to get it, and if it weren't for these pesky brothers, um, he might actually succeed. But uh, more often than not, he has to resort to Plan B, um, which uh, usually involves escape. So, um, yeah, I think that's the sort of villain you're after. Five, four, three, two, one. When we thought about the reinvention and the remake of the show, we thought, well, what was it about the original show that made it so special? One of the aspects that Jerry and Sylvia had of the original series was building these incredible models and miniatures. And so we thought, well, actually, why not do the same but replace the puppets that are quite hard to work with with the most amazing uh, cutting-edge CGI characters. And so for us, developing that new visual aesthetic has been very much part of the development of the series and gives the series a real distinctive you know, look and feel and aesthetic. So I'd like to say we have 100% less martinis in this series there's not a lot of smoking, you know, handguns like those like they did back in the 60s. Uh, you know, so, you know, we, we knew there were certain elements of the original show that worked really, really well. And we didn't want to change those at all. There was sort of hopeful, optimistic, future, forward-looking, um, you know, wonder-filled sci-fi adventure. And that, to us, was sort of the place to start. If I was back in the 1960s now with Jerry Anderson, but I had the technology that I have now, how would I make this show? So that, that is the rule book that I follow. As you can see on the poster, there are a lot of guys in this show. Where are the girls? Well, unfortunately not in this picture, but we do have a couple of really amazing ones. Uh, Lady Penelope, of course, who from the classic series was, was such an iconic figure that, you know, she had her own magazine. Uh, and today, no less so. And, uh, you know, so we, we love Lady Penelope as a part of the show. But we also have Ko, who is basically the sixth Tracy in many ways. And she's head of covert ops for international rescue. Uh, and she's always off on a, on a cool top secret mission. Uh, and in a lot of ways has the coolest vehicle too, which also for some reason isn't on that uh, poster. But yeah, we should talk to someone and do something about that, I think. I think there, there isn't a set age. I know a lot of people my age, my, my dad enjoys it. I'm sure my granddad would have enjoyed it. Um, my son who's five enjoys it. So the. That's the beauty of the show. You can sit down with your five-year-old. There's no violence. It's an action-packed show, but it's all about rescue, and so therefore it's very family-friendly. Uh, and it's but it's all it's all positive. It's all there's there's good messages in the show. So it's hopefully one that everyone can enjoy. And um, so far, I think I think that's worked. situation.
we only have 22 minutes to tell these stories. The original show was almost an hour long, so we have to condense those types of interesting, complex, exciting stories into much less time, which actually works out well because kids have a lot less attention span these days. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we, we really just kind of keep the focus on selfless heroism and exciting adventure and these cool vehicles and, and uh, you know, the rest just kind of comes easy. The first season is on Amazon Prime right now, so check that out. And the second season will be coming this fall, also on Amazon Prime. Thunderbirds are go.